Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on the Harbor Freight half ton crane. We're going to be installing a winch. Um, I've used it quite a few times without the winch, but it's going to be a hand crank winch. Um, pretty simple. And I'm going to use one of these pulleys. I'm going to use one of these pulleys for the end over here. I want to make sure that it sits below the bed rail because I plan on putting a, a, a cover on the truck. A bed cover so um, let's see what I can come up with all right guys I got everything grounded down this is where my lifting blocks gonna go this is where my winch is gonna go. Let's try to get it tacked up to see how it, uh, so we can see how it clears everything. You wanna make sure the winch is in the center. All right guys, now that we got a pretty good idea where we're gonna mount our winch and our lifting block, uh, next thing you want to do is tack it in place once you tack it in place make sure you dry fit everything make sure it's it's gonna clear the bed rail or bed cap in my case is I'm gonna put a bed cover on it One thing you want to make sure is that the hand crank doesn't fear with anything as you crank it. In my case it doesn't. I've already checked that it will clear the bed, the bed, the bed rail. And and the lifting block looks pretty good right there. So I think I'm gonna weld it up right there. Looks good guys, let's go ahead and weld it up. Alright guys, one of the main reasons I did my truck crane is to get my generator in and out of the truck. Um, here it is with the pulley finished off and the winch. I went ahead and mounted a magnetic. I went ahead, went ahead and mounted a magnetic right here for the for the rod, for the for the boom. Give you guys a quick demonstration how I get this uh, generator inside of the truck. This is the same for putting an engine in, in the truck as well. guys without the truck crane I wouldn't be able to get it in the truck fully fueled
right guys that was pretty simple I'm gonna show you how I store the crane in the bed of the truck Alright guys, that's exactly how I store it. Um, it's nice and snug. It doesn't rattle when I'm driving. Um, I don't got to worry about it being in the way either. So um, I really like how it turned out. Uh, it's come in handy quite a few times and I definitely don't regret installing this Harbor Freight crane. Alright guys, that pretty much concludes this video. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, everything's uh, clean. It's a clean install. Um, it's very strong. I've lifted some pretty heavy stuff with this. Um, I like the fact that I can, it, can, it stays underneath the bed and it's not noticeable from, from, from the outside of the truck. Um, I also like the fact that it doesn't rattle while I'm driving. It's, it's like it's not even back there. Uh, everything, everything turned out great. Um, I, I definitely don't plan on doing any, any more modifications to it. it, it it's working great. Um, but if somebody if something does break or something if I figure if something does break and I figure I could I should have done something differently I would def I'll definitely update y'all um, So Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one